right, hello everyone. My name is Tyrone Brown. And I will be doing the intro to reporting services webinar today. Sorry about the minor technical delay. Okay, uh, just a little bit about myself. I am a senior business intelligence developer here at Pragmatic Works. I have about 15 years experience working with Microsoft SQL Server and the entire Microsoft BI stack. I am a certified database developer, and I have a degree in math and computer science from Bloomsburg University here in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a little bit about me. I reside in, currently in Philadelphia. I have some hobbies, playing the guitar, bowling, traveling, and I like to consider myself a runner, although I'm not that good at it, personally. And okay, so for today, the webinar agenda is going to be split into four lessons, um, about 15 minutes each. So lesson one, I'm going to do just an overview of reporting services, what it is and what it's used for. In lesson two, I'm going to discuss the SQL Server reporting services architecture. Lesson three, we're going to create a report, just a basic report. And number four, I'm going to show you how to deploy the report and to deliver it to the end users. So the overview. So what is reporting services? It is a product that allows users to create reports and to share information with the business users. And this is important because no matter how good or how much data you have, it's useless unless there's someone there to consume the data and use it in a useful way. So for instance, you could create, let's say, an inventory report that would help the warehouse manager of a corporation decide what products to buy to fill the warehouse and how many of those products they need to purchase from a vendor. Or you could create a report for your company CFO, a financial report for the end of the year, maybe to determine yearly bonuses for the employees. Of course, we know that's very important. So I mean, the possibilities with reporting services, they're basically endless. Um, the problem that we encounter is the person who's usually in charge of making these business decisions are not IT professionals like you and me. So you'll rarely see maybe a vice president or a marketing manager going in, sitting down, logging in a SQL server, and querying a SQL database to get their data to answer their business questions. Um, as a side note, there is uh, a growing popularity in what is called self-service BI. So self-service BI is basically an approach to allow non-technical IT users to access and analyze data for their needs. Um, but that's another lesson, I guess, for another time. Okay. So I think mean, one of the main benefits of SQL Server reporting services is that it is included with SQL Server. So if you have a SQL Server license, reporting services comes along with that SQL Server license, which is important because some of the other third party software for reporting can run you a lot of money into tens of thousands of dollars in licensing fees. Another advantage of SQL Server reporting services is the drag and drop capability. So a person who it can be a report developer, they don't really need programming experience. They can start off right off the bat in creating reports. But on the flip side of that, there are also many advanced features of reporting services. So you can create sub reports. There's lots of charting and graphing features there. So if you want to create large enterprise reports, the advanced features are there. Um, so in a lot of reporting courses, they can last up to five days. So you can spend, you know, 40 hours in a reporting course for an introduction course. And then you can take another advanced course. And, you know, that would be another, you know, 40 hours to learn the advanced features. So there is a lot to learn with reporting services. But hopefully here we can touch on the basics. Okay, so here is a layout of the SQL Server architecture. So I'll just touch briefly on the main points of this diagram. So in the middle here is the main processing engine of SSRS. So that stores um, things like the report definitions, 
It renders and delivers the reports and handles report security. Um, to get into the details of this probably is an entire course in itself, so we'll just stick to the basics. We can consider this uh, a black box, for lack of a better term. So here at the top, we have the report user, the report designer, and the report manager. So this is how we, the users, will interact with the reporting services engine. So right here, report user, that's pretty obvious what that is. That's the person who is actually consuming the information from the reports. Here is the report designer. That would be people like us who are in charge of laying out and designing and putting the data onto the reports. And the report manager is, I guess, also would be an IT person or developer. I think they're more in charge of managing the reports, so taking care of things like security, permissions, and setting up a folder structure for access to the reports. And here to the left, we have data sources. So these are any source of of data that you have. This obviously here isn't a complete list, but these are some of the more popular options. The first one being SQL Server. Um, you can use OLEDB or any data source that has an ODBC capability or Oracle. So there are a lot of data sources. And actually when we go through the report and I build the report, I can show you all of the options that are there. And here to the right is more for the end users. So you have the output formats that you can display the report in. So you have HTML, Excel, PDF, and ways to deliver it. So you can also you can email it, you can put it to a file share, you can put it on a report server, which I'll show you later. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to go through creating a report. So let me go here. Okay, so to create a report here, I'm going to start with basics. I'm going to open up the Visual Studio, and I'm going to create a new project. So when creating a new project, you're going to have a list of options here to the side. You may have some more, you may have some less than you see here for me. It all depends on which Visual Studio options you have installed. So for here, we're going to go under the business intelligence and we're going to go into reporting services to create a report. Now there are two options here. One is the report server project wizard and report server project. So the first one is a wizard. It will just walk you through step by step to create a report. And this one, report server project, you're going to create it from scratch. So I'm going to create a project here from scratch. and call this webinar Thursday webinar okay Let's go hit okay here okay so what this is so now I have a blank project so the first thing that I want to do is to create a report so I'm going to go here to the right to the solution explorer and I'm going to add a new item and then you're presented with the list of new items to add. And so here we're going to select a new report. There we go. So now here's the report. There is, as you can see here on the file, it's the report RDL, which it created a file called report.1 RDL. RDL stands for Report Definition Language. And you can see here, there's nothing here. It's just a blank report. Now, in the designer here, you're going to see two tabs. You're going to see a design tab, and you're going to see a preview tab. So the design tab is what you use when you're designing and laying out and changing a report and adding data to it. And the preview tab is going to show you what the actual report looks like. So if I click here on the preview tab, it's going to come up obviously blank. There's nothing on it. So let me just do something here. I'm just going to add text here just to show you the two. 